Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, we're going to be using my updated free tweaking utility to boost your FPS, lower your latency, lower your ping, and more. But before we start the video, I want to tell you guys about tools that can completely optimize your PC for the best possible performance and lowest possible latency. Make sure to check out exmtweaks.com where you can find my premium and standard tweaking utilities. We have over 2,000 reviews on our Discord server and website combined. So make sure to check out exmtweaks.com to completely optimize your PC. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the utility. So simply go to the description of any of my videos. In here, you can find download the tweaks or a Discord link and just press on that and this will take you to my discord server and in here simply navigate over to the free tweaking utility category and uh, once you're in here head over to the download button and press download and also by the way get this video to 2,000 likes and get me to 23,000 subs and I'll drop a new version of the free tweaking utility with a bunch of new tweaks all right so just press visit the website this will take you to my Google Drive as you can see here you have my free tweaking utility just simply right click on the free tweaking utility and press download and it should show up in the top corner if you're wondering if this is a virus or something, first of all, it's a Google Drive link and Google Drive checks everything for viruses. And also it's completely open source. All right, and simply open this and minimize everything in the background and just drag this onto your desktop. Boom. All right, so right click on it and run it as administrator to open it. Put it in full screen because it will look weird. And yeah, in here you have a little welcome warning screen. Just press any key to continue. And now it's time for restore points. So uh, whatever store point is, it basically allows you to revert all of the tweaks. So if you don't like the effects of this tool, you can just go back. But yeah, simply press one followed by enter and this will make a restore point. All right, so it made a restore point, just press okay. And now it will download the resources which uh, are like the power plan and the more. And now uh, we're in the menu. So here you have 15 or actually 14 options for tweaks and some extra buttons and I'll walk you through how to use this. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is general tweaks. So this is just gonna be a bunch of general registry optimizations to lower your latency and make your performance better. Simply press one followed by enter in the menu again and the boom. This is all you have to do. And now it's time to for mouse and keyboard. And in here you have two options. So we have apply mouse and keyboard registry optimizations, boom. And now we have setting keyboard and mouse .aq size. So in here, as you can see, you have three options, which is uh, high end CPU, mid end CPU, and low end CPU. And uh, the way you pick between this is you press T, go into performance. So this little category in task manager, go into your CPU. So as you can see, I have a 13th gen Intel Core i7 and simply comment whatever you have here. And I'll tell you whichever one of these options you should use. So yeah, I have a high end CPU. So I'm just gonna press one followed by enter. That's everything for mouse and keyboard. Let's do Windows tweaks. So as you can see here, you have about 20 optimizations, but I'm personally just gonna use the apply all button. If you wanna go through these and look through everything, if you use something like Bluetooth, then uh, don't uh, press the apply all button. Also, if you end up pressing it and you realize that you need something, you can just press R. And in here, you can revert a bunch of the optimizations from other categories as well, so yeah. And just gonna press the A button. So this will press OK and then press Y and enter. This will apply all of the optimizations here. Press yes. And uh, now it will open Windows Update Blocker and this little menu. So first I'll go through Windows Update Blocker. So what this does, it basically disables Windows updates from running in the background. And the reason why I want to do this is because if a Windows update randomly starts in the background, it will completely kill your performance. I'm talking like you will go from 240 FPS to like 160. So I recommend just disabling it. And if you wanna ever install an update, then uh, just go into this tool and enable them again. But I generally just recommend installing an update every few months or so, and then make sure to do the tweaks again because it resets them. But yeah, just press apply now, exit out of this. And now we have the performance options, which this will basically allow you to disable a bunch of animations and more. In here, simply just copy my settings. So just press adjust for best performance, then custom and uh, show window context while dragging. This is optional, but I just like how it looks and it doesn't affect performance that much. Show thumbnails instead of icons. This is a must have if, and smooth edges on screen fonts. So yeah, just press apply. Now press enter and it will bring you back to the utility. So now we have PC clean and this will clean a bunch of temporary files and device data and more off your PC to free up storage. So simply press one followed by enter and this will clean a bunch of uh, useless devices which your PC doesn't use anymore, but it still stores them. And then we have Windows Clean Manager, which this will just open this little menu 
press OK. Just select your C drive or your boot drive, press OK. It will calculate how much temporary files you have. I've used this yesterday, so I don't have that much, but I've seen people who have literally 40, 50 gigabytes of temporary files here. Just select everything, unless you don't wanna like clean your recycle bin or something. But yeah, just press OK and delete files. All right, so it just finished. And now it's time for memory tweaks. So in here you have again two options and the first one is enabling or disabling memory compression. So if you have 16 and more gigabytes of RAM then disable it and if you have less than 16 gigabytes then enable it. So I'm just gonna press one and enter since I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. All right, and next we have general memory related optimizations. So just press two and uh, this will, all right, boom. Now it's time for disabling startup services. This is slightly more of a tricky one, but I'll walk you through how to use it. So this will open up the Autoruns app, but in here, simply go over to the logon category. All right, and in here, you wanna disable everything. So uncheck it, except your antivirus, CMD, and these NA files, which are just security files or something like that. So I don't recommend disabling them. And all right, and after that, you can simply just close it. It will apply all the changes, boom. Now we have GPU tweaks and in here you have three options. So I personally have an Nvidia GPU. There isn't really much to explain. So just select whichever type of GPU you have. Again, if you don't know what GPU you have, go to task manager, performance, GPU, you can see Nvidia. So uh, one, it will apply all the Nvidia GPU tweaks and yeah, boom. Next, we have CPU tweaks. Do not do these if you have really bad overheating issues since these slightly increase temperatures. As you can see, you have selections between an AMD and an Intel CPU. So I have an Intel CPU personally and uh, boom. That's all you have to do. Same with AMD. Now it's time for USB tweaks, which you just press it, boom, that's everything. And after that, we have the 10th option, which is power tweaks. And again, don't do these if your PC has a bad overheating issue since these slightly increase your temperatures. First, we have applying the EXM free power plan V4. So as you can see, it imported the power plan and simply just selected it. If you have any additional power plans, which you wanna delete, just change plan settings, delete this power plan. But I'm still gonna personally use my premium power plan, which is a lot better than the free one. But trust me, this free power plan is much better than all power plans like ultimate performance and everything. It's really advanced for a free power plan. But yeah, I'll just uh, check this and close this and boom. After that, we have disabled power throttling, timer coalescing and more, which are just power saving features and stuff like that. So just press two and enter. After that, we have disabled power telemetry, which this will basically just stop your PC from collecting data on your power usage. It's pretty useless and it just runs in the background. And now we have deleting useless power plants. So this will delete power plants like high performance and the more, you know, the basic default power plants. Next, we have disabling hibernation, fast startup and more. If you ever wanna revert the power tweaks, just press R and it will revert all of them except the power plan, but yeah. And now it's time for deep load. Don't disable again anything which you use. So for example, if you use something like game DVR, Xbox, then don't delete it. But I personally don't use any of these. I'm just gonna press A. And there's reverts for these as well, of course. But I just press Y, boom. And next we have storage tweaks, which these are pretty simple. So first we have trimming and defragmenting your drives. So uh, we have my SSD and simply just press optimize and this will trim it, boom. And yeah, that's everything. So simply just close it. If you wanna defragment your hard drive, you can do it as well, but this will take a long, long time. I haven't done it yet. I probably should, but you know, it will take a while, like an hour or maybe even more, but I'll just close it and press any key to continue. Now we have uh, enable user write cache, uh, storage tweak. Then we have disable SSD power savings. Just skip this if you don't have a SSD, but this will disable some power saving features on SSDs. On SSDs. And yeah, that's everything for its storage tweaks. So after that, we have fixing corrupted files which uh, this is just a single button. You just press it and it will fix a bunch of corrupted files in your Windows installation and more. Just press one and enter. And this will take a while. I'll just skip to when this is finished. All right, so it just finished. I'll just press any key to continue. Go back to menu. And the last step is the EXM network tweaking utility. So simply press 14, press any key to continue. And I highly recommend making another restore point. And once you're in here, uh, just simply press T to open the tutorial and just follow the tutorial. And uh, once you're finished with it, you can simply go back to the menu. And yeah, that's everything that you have to do. So simply restart your PC after to apply all of the tweaks. And yeah, if you wanna completely optimize your PC, 
go into the utility and press W and this will take you to my website where you have over five times more tweaks than this in my premium utility. So make sure to check it out. And yeah, I love you guys. See you guys later.